everyone, welcome back to another episode of Death Mark, Guest Expedition with, with Doey. With Doey. And we are talking to this here guy. I don't know what kind of accent you were giving him. I was assuming it was something like this. I have this. no clue. <laughs> I don't know. So we're going to listen to his story about why he's in the underground. He says it's his home. We're going to have to have him explain. <laughs> but welcome back. I don't know how to respond to that. Hiro and Daimon seem to be the same. It was a paradise for me because no one knows about it. Until a weirdo showed up six months ago. Huh? Some oh. woman doused in perfume. That girl, that woman. It was winter, and I don't like stirring up trouble, so I stayed away. That must have been Zakal. I nod. That is my thought as well. That was a month ago. I figured she must have up and uh, again. This <laughs> phrase. I love that you <laughs> noticed this so much. <laughs> I figured she must have up and left, so I went back. But now there's something stranger. Which was? A damn walking Buddha oh, statue. Oh, God. The statue <laughs> itself was walking. I mean, this, it's, okay. It's been very supernatural and crazy and impossible so far. But just the fact that we saw a door just show up in front of our eyes because the we did a thing. It's, this is kind of, I don't know. I feel like normally it's been like stuff out of our control, but we like did that. So just, mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. Things are kind of getting a little bit more bonkers. Because we're, we're, we're nearing the last chapter. I know, but still... You gotta understand, you best, I don't know. <laughs> I know I'm pretty out there, but even I was shocked by that. Oh, he's self-aware. I even got this weird scar. Oh, here's our third <laughs> party member. Hi, welcome. Join our group. Join our anonymous group for mark bearers. Then she removes his scarf, revealing the mark on his neck. You may not believe this, but that statue gave you that scar. Oh, so that's our next thing? The Conlon soldier is a statue. Okay. I figured it was a cannon soldier after all. The Canon soldier. How do you know that name? Some document I saw had it. It was an old plan to make a Buddhist statue move with supernatural powers. That was so specific. <laughs> Why? 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 With oh. supernatural powers, we'll move a Buddha statue. <laughs> Why? A heavenly Buddha project weapon. Uh, are you nuts? Spirit powers making something move? That's insane! Now, now, Hiro, calm down. So those documents that you found, are they still around? Nope, I burnt them for, for warmth. <laughs> Thanks, good, bro, you got our back, <laughs> hell yeah. I had a delicious roasted potato too. I'm so glad. Uh, how could you? Cough. <laughs> Maybe take your own advice, Dr. Daimon. Our measure of common sense seems to be rather different than this strange old man's. It's fine. My noggin works different from most people's. I get, a, I got it all memorized. Wow, so he's got photographic memory, maybe. Also, I just realized his, his mustache. Oh. oh, yes. Also, his hair. His hair is quite fascinating. There's a lot going on with it. Bangs his mustache like... looks just like a pair of wings. Oh, you're right. Like, a, there's a bird stuck there. Yeah, or like an angel's wings, you know. <laughs> It's like, it's just a, a nose with angel's wings sprouting out of it. It's quite lovely. It's <laughs> Got really it cute. memorized. As you say, just tell us. We need to know about that project. Okay, yes. Ooh, please Ooh. give us the details. The Heavenly Buddha Project was the pet project of some general at the end of the war. So they built that shelter for it. Wow. Ta-da, the 13th Army Engineering Lab. To make the Kanon soldier thing, they did tests on Buddhist statues. Why? So specific. Why? <laughs> they were brought from some shrine or something somewhere. They stole it from the one that we the needed H shrine. from. That must be a shrine. H shrine. H shrine. <laughs> they did a bunch of stuff to infuse the statues with spiritual power. Oh my god. There was a monk from Tea Mountain, spiritual treasures from all over, but nobody thought anything would come actually from it. The project was just an excuse to keep that fanatical general busy. At least, it was supposed to be. Why did they just change but to the same day, image? Okay. The statue started moving. It went berserk throughout the lab and went crazy on a ton of people. The blood stains and oh. old corpses in the shelter are probably the victims. Ooh, that's so scary. <laughs> 
Some people survived, but they had red bite-like marks on them. Jesus. The thing went and wrecked the place. Then it stopped, and it never moved again. Again, no one knows what even triggered it. But then he saw it again recently. Did oh, he, fine. He, that's everything. That's about everything it said. Fine. Uh, <laughs> Stop! You don't want Daimon as white as a sheet, even though Daimon was already as white as a sheet. I probably am too. It's a hard, it's a hard story to believe, but <laughs> wait, wait, it's a hard story to believe. But he has no reason to lie to us. I think he speaks the truth. What? Are, are you kidding me? A statue going around killing people and cursing them? Impossible! Then how do you explain the mark on his neck? Logic would dictate that the moving statue he saw was the cannon soldier. <laughs> the dormant soldier suddenly starts moving after 50 years. That might be the cause of mine and Hiro's marks. What if you flip that though? <laughs> Both of your grandpas got the mark from the cannon soldier. So it got passed down through genetics? Wait, what are you implying here? When the soldier stopped moving, their marks disappeared. So because it was moving again, now the marks oh. just appear again? But with it started up again, you got them because you're their descendants. How fortunate. Yay. How does that pop? Hmm. Because it's like, oh, I'm going to curse you and all of your descendants. Like that? If that's true, then the children inherited their fair, their parents' pate. Yes, their parents' pate. <laughs> Kiruo can't seem to muster up, up any kind of counter-argument. I think she's in shock. I want to ask you something, old man. Mm -hmm. You say the Kanon soldier stopped moving mm -hmm. 50 years ago. But mm -hmm. why? Uh, I think it was some spiritual person used a thingamajig to do something. So you have no idea? It's the most important part. Try to remember. It's not that easy, son. The mark might have made me forget. Oh, convenient. Good. Taking his age into account, it's more likely it just completely slipped his mind. What? Yeah, good memory. <laughs> we don't. We can't trust him on that. <laughs> it seems we must defeat the cannon, cannon soldier to be free of our marks. We'll have to figure it out on our own if he can't be of any more help. You seem a pro at this door. We'll be relying on you. Oh, good. Put it all on me, all right? Thanks. I don't have spiritual powers or anything, even though I clearly just expressed it earlier. <laughs> but you've already faced down four different spirits, haven't you? It's true. God, we're tired. <laughs> we're tired. tired. <laughs> a normal person wouldn't have survived. Now that he says it, I guess he's right. I have been hearing a mysterious voice a few times and having weird premonitions. I even caught myself unconsciously talking when we were down in the shelter. And I'm just kind of accepting all this, taking it all in stride. So what are you folks gonna do now? Good question. Investigate the soldier, investigate the statues, oh, investigate the no. project. Um, does this actually matter or can we end up doing all three? Let's see, investigate the soldier, statues, or the project. Project? Sure. Yeah. Is the soldier important? I mean, that's the, the title of the chapter, right? But we want more information before we face it or something? I don't freaking know. Oh, no. Project. Oopsie. Project. Let's, investi let's investigate the project in the shelter. I feel like that'll be the key to the mark. I guess we're going back in then. Hiro's still kind of sulking, but she's at least recovered from her shock. We all share the same fate. It's too late to try to run away. If you could change your fate, <laughs> would ya? If you can change your accent and just do it. <laughs> would ya? Yep. yep, you should find it there. The heart of everything that's causing the curse. You need that to stop the canon soldier. That's what my gut's telling me. What are you going to do then? I'm full now, so I was going to take a nap in that park nearby. So is he a, a partner that we can't pick? I'll sit and wait until you fellas do something about that soldier. Wait just a minute, you old fart. Didn't we just say that it's too late to run away? Okay, okay, I get it. Well, you folks did feed me, so I guess I can help you. Good. Great, great, bro. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Let's take a quick look at that. Yeah, these notes are very... 
They provide uh, extra <laughs> insight. So let's see. Uh, the Heavenly Buddha Project, spiritual power to make a statue into a weapon. They gathered sacred objects, including uh, statues from each city. Um, but it started moving, and it killed a bunch of people. And they think... Banshee thinks he saw it. They're moving again. That's why they're descendants, so they got the mark again. Uh, we don't know what made it move. We have to find a way to stop it. Maybe there are records of how they stopped it 50 years ago. Banshee doesn't remember. Only that some person with spiritual power used something to do something. Uh, okay. Used something to do something. Okay. So which partner do we want to take? Which partner do we want to take? Uh, I I almost want to take the strange vagrant vagrant. Well, let's hear his voice. Let's <laughs> let let her rip. Excellent. Perfect. It's that okay. It's the one clip that they have of him. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, let's head out. Let's roll out. All right. What extra notes were you marking down just now? Uh, spiritual power. Use something. Do something. Got it. Cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude. Don't go down. <laughs> Definitely go down. <laughs> Definitely don't go down. Oh, the music. Okay, wait, where the heck are we headed? So, oh, we have the key now. So can you tell, lead me to the locked rooms? It's behind us. Oh, there's like multiple. There's One multiple, right? Okay. So we're gonna go ahead. It seems to be locked. Wait, hello? Oh, there we go, there we go. Sometimes I just move, sometimes I look at the door. I don't know, okay. What's in here? Ooh, what is that? In is that a statue? Is that the statue? What's- oh, <laughs> oh, that's not comforting. Can we leave? There's a single out-of-place Buddha statue. Its head has been cut off. Oh, that's not- oh, we, I don't want to be alone in the room <laughs> with this thing. Are you kidding me? Should we save? Did we save? Uh, I saved right before. Uh, let's open things. Okay. <laughs> it's a big iron box. There's a thin layer of dust on it, but it looks fairly intact. Feel. Hi there! Oh, oh gorgeous! Looking good! Oh, hell yeah! I like the Buddha head with a bunch of mini Buddha heads and then one yeah. more Buddha head on top. You just can't, like, can't have enough Buddha. As if there weren't already so many. <laughs> They're like, okay, one head's clearly not enough. We gotta add at least ten more. <laughs> How are we gonna fit all those Buddha heads on there? Just make them really tiny. Oh, yeah, a tiny. crown. A crown. <laughs> a crown of Buddha heads. <laughs> okay, wait, uh, a uh, vagrant. Mm hmm well, that's ominous. The box is packed with carelessly tossed Buddha statue heads. A real actual head can clearly be nice. seen among them. The the skull? <laughs> I think it's, it's the dry. one that's not smiling. The open mouth. Uh oh oh the one the one uh, to yeah. the left of the Buddha head uh -huh. crown? Definitely that one. Yeah. Definitely that one. Not the mummified one or anything in the corner, definitely. Yeah. It's try and mummified, but going by the long hair, it's probably female. Most likely one of the experiment's victims. Huh. So this is where it was. My head. Let's take it and bring it to its owner. Huh? Huh. What? I thought you'd say that. Uh, oh, just kidding. <laughs> I f Wait, what? I feel Banshee's gaze on me. Did we just uh, talk to ourselves? Like, yeah. did we just laugh comfortably with ourselves? What is going on? I'm getting increasingly scared of Theodore. What is going <laughs> on with us? Uh, what if we're the villain all along? What if oh. we're the spirit all along or something? Oh my God, I don't even know. The box in warehouse number one. I can only carry one head. What? I need to choose which one to oh, take. Come on. Wait, I mean, he the said so. One. Yeah, he said so that's where it w Wait. It seems like he was referring to the we, woman's head. We did head. have. Um, was there something mentioning? There was a woman's head on a male body. That was a success. Okay. Got human head. No. Good. What do we do with it? Uh, oh. Stick it on here. Male body. Male body on uh, male st male body. It's a Buddha statue. The headless Buddha statue is covered in dust. There's a talisman stuck to the neck. Okay, great. Yay! Oh, we've got a decent amount of... I thought this thing was going to murder us. I'm so glad. Goodbye. I'm leaving immediately <laughs> with this human head. Human mama... Ah! Wait, I, I missed it. I'm sorry. I missed it. I looked down. <laughs> no! <laughs> what, did, what, did, what was it? It was a ghost face with a hat. He just showed up for a quick sec. He, he didn't even yell or anything. He just showed up and it scared me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
We, <laughs> my heart jumped. I there's got a, there's really scared. There's another locked door straight, straight ahead. Just okay. straight, straight ahead. I got really scared. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna open it. There we go. Time to move forward. <laughs> safe? Should we save? I know I shouldn't save. Oh, <laughs> look, there's way more. Oh, jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really delirious right <laughs> no, I'm I... scared. Don't mind me. Okay, I'll calm down. I'm calm. There's a cutscene. Oh, God. I'm scared. It's getting dark. Oh, I can hear a victory chant coming from the other side of the intersection. Huh? Uh, are we ready we... for a victory chant? I have no... We have no... Clue. Should we turn back? Is there one more locked door? Or is it... Uh, no? That's it. There's this southeast dead end that we kind of like looked at. And, and nothing, nothing happened. Nothing there, okay, and then, that's it. and then that's it? Yeah, the operating rooms. Uh, Buddha statues where we drowned and got yeah. pushed somewhere. Oh, so that's it. So let's keep going. You know, we never like... When we... we should, should we go back to the Buddha statue room? I turn on my heel and go back. Okay. Dick move! Uh, they just put that ghost there to scare- Oh. Wait. Oopsie, sorry. Did I- Turn back? I'm sorry, did I- Huh? Did I accidentally press the wrong button? Wait. What? There we go. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot that we came through a door and I got really confused. Uh, door. I'm going to the left. left. What, where am I going? The Buddha. Okay. Then uh, the left here. Up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, oopsie. Let's move forward, and then we might drown. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drown again. Oh! We can freely look around now. Except there doesn't seem to be anything to look at. Oh, great. Okay. I was hoping we'd get washed yeah, around I, or something. I was hoping we would find something, because... I mean, these must be all the the heads we're looking for, right? I mean, not just these, but all the there there are a lot of missing statues actually. <laughs> not anything about it. So, I guess that's it. I guess that's yeah. it. Ooh, so I mean. So there was just chanting. We should just go. We should just face it. I don't know because, what the hell yeah. we're supposed to do, but we should just. Oh, go. let's look at our notes. Okay. 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 Hold for on. some reason, our notes always just have extra. I don't, I don't know if he added anything new just now. Did he? Oopsie. I'm supposed to go back, right? Yeah. Okay. Song's my jam. Uh, okay, left. Left, 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 right, left. Okay. So I'm going to go inside, and I should uh, I should save right here. Perfect. We're going to go forward and be met with a victory chant. That's a this victory. Sound like a victory. That sounds like someone dying. Keep going. Keep going. I shrug and keep moving forward. <laughs> yeah. Screw it, whatever. I take one step forward <gasps> and... Hello? An electric current runs through my body and my muscles seize up! Huh? Uh, I, we, I... Sorry, I forgot to check the notes. I just ran it. <laughs> Don't worry, I... Sorry! Don't know. You lay... Mm, you lay about, what are you doing here? You have you have time to be living around, do you? Recite this base's Logan's slogan at once. Who is shouting this at us? Cheer for the final battle in the homeland. What? What? I don't. I, I, wait, does this have anything to do with any of those codes mm, or anything? No cheers. What? No final battle of the homeland. Oh, good. Two hundred. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Give huh? birth. Huh? A hundred mi million honorable deaths. That seems. Oh, okay. okay. This, we have no clue. What is happening? Oh my god. Once more, declare our resolve to strike back with air raids. We won't lose even if our country is reduced to ashes. Show your determination. Oh my god. We won't lose. S oh my god. Send forth a hundred million fireballs. <laughs> I land of gods. Okay, oh, that's probably wrong. I'm. Probably we're we're wrong. all about gods. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Okay. How, were we supposed to know this? <laughs> Bless you. you. Our army has fought. Uh, it's white now. Bravely from the southern tropics to the northern Arctic, but the tide still hasn't turned in our favor. What do you think? Can we win this crusade? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Of course we won. 
Ha! If the kamikaze wind blows, winds blow. Okay. Oh my god. God wins, kamikaze. You're pretty promising for a new recruit. Thank you. I have Whoa. no idea what the heck I was saying, but thank you Whoa. so much. <laughs> Keep a good eye on this squad. Farewell. Okay, where we, we have <laughs> completely <laughs> blindly <laughs> blundered through that. Completely. With that astonishing victory, let's just end off there, but real quick, real quick, let's check really our nice. bags to see if there's just any sort of indication of that. We just blindly stump mm. Nope. Uh, a mummified head appearing to be female. Kay. We should put it with its rightful owner and we should take it. That's it. Okay. And the it. owner would be the male body or I'm... the female body from whence the female head came well, from? Well, we'll stumble upon okay. it when we find. No indication. Nothing about mm. that. Well, How? We just blindly good guessed. Just, just a good job. Just good a job. good job. This is just a good job. Just good job. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Wow. Dude, that was insane. That was insane. Oh, my God. Join us next time. Holy cow. We'll see you then. This is Axis. This is Doey. Over, Over and out. out.